Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. Today is a thigh and core workout. We are using ankle weights today that range from two pounds up to four and a half pounds. The focus today is on the thigh. So you're gonna be working the glutes, the inner thighs, the outer thighs, and then we're gonna go deep into that core. With three blocks of work today, we got 40 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition, and this is a no repeat. If you're new to this channel, welcome, and do make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Roll the shoulders back. We're gonna do a five minute warm up today to just get super warm so your body can move in all different directions and increase that intensity. So we're gonna start with a little step touch. And just open and close the arms here so we can warm up the chest, the back. And eyes are lifted. Knees have a soft bend. getting ready to take it into a squat. So turn out the feet a little bit, squat, and then hands on the hips, hinge forward. And then we can drop in the squat, turn those feet out. And when I'm hinging, my feet turn forward. When you hinge forward, lengthen through the crown of your head. Pull your belly in. start with some lunges right leg back reach up and switch just don't fall over right <laughs> usually that first one try to get those arms by the ears really lengthen up One more, we gotta push up with a down dog reach. So come into your plank, open the feet up. It's one push up, reach hand to opposite ankle and back to push up other arm. You can always do the push up on the knees. Front foot's gonna lunge forward, runner's lunge. Open up with a twist. Now just put the hand on the knee and just sink in the hip here, just stay here. Push the shoulders down. Step back, switch legs. Open up to the back. Hand goes on the knee, just stay in that lunge. Move the hips. Step both feet to the front. Now, reach up. A modified burpee, hands down, step back to plank. Step forward, reach up. Once you get looser, if you wanna hop it back and hop it forward, you can. We're up in a jog, or you can march it out, light on the feet. We have like the perfect day today. I was just telling these guys, there's no lawn mowers, <laughs> there's no blowers, just the birds. No fire siren yet. <laughs> Let's make our way over here. We're gonna take it over for two and two jacks. Two steps. All right, take it into a forward lunge and switch. If forward lunges are not for you, take it to a back lunge. Another 
option. Reach down, really bend the knee. We got low kicks. We're gonna kick front for four. Inside, four. So front, two, three, four, out. Sumo squat, drop and hold. We're gonna be on all four. We have our ankle weights on. Anywhere two, three, maybe fives would be the highest that I would go. That front leg, we're gonna extend it straight back. Hands under shoulders is a straight leg lift. So lowering and lifting the foot. You can flex the foot if you want to. You want to take the back arm and reach a little bit forward, but try to have the knee shine down so the toe touches the ground. It can tap it and then lift. And then if you want to check your core, take the opposite hand, touch your belly, and see if you're pulling up and in. So what we're going to do is 40 seconds of work on one side, 15 second transition to the other side and do the same movement. You want to hold it at the top for just a moment. Feel like you engage the glute, push the heel out, and relax. You can roll the wrist. It's the same movement on the other leg. We're just going to stay facing this direction. Extend the leg out. Drop and lift. And there are options with the arm. So I'm extending my front arm a little bit forward. You can always drop to the elbows, but then pay attention if it feels like the movement's easier or harder. Ankle weights are a great at home tool, inexpensive. Not only can you use them on the legs, hey, you can use them for your arms. Hold at the top just for a couple of seconds here. Press the heel out, pull the core in, knee in. Now, back to the first leg. We're gonna do a little press it back. So we're extending the leg straight back, knee to knee. Kick it back. Now I want a little effort on the kick back. So it's kind of quick, slow back. So again, it's a little quick kick. And then for your knees, we actually all have like a little pad underneath our mat. You can always double up your mat. Hold it back, please. Just hold there for just five seconds. Release, roll the wrist, fix anything. Okay, hands and knees, kick it back. Remember, it's gonna be a quick, slow return. And again, you can find where your hands need to be. Or look out in front. Hold it back for just a moment. Knee comes down. Now extend that front leg back. We're gonna cross it back. Pull the knee in, step out, little crunch, and then we straighten it out. Cross back, knee comes forward, crunch. Straight leg back, 
cross, swing to that, stomp forward. Little side crunch, hands can come by the ears. And a nice, strong, straight leg when you swing it back behind you. And then you use that core to swing that leg to the front. Great, other side. That was kind of fun, right? It's always good to move in all different directions here. Come to all four, extend the other leg back. Okay, straight leg cross back, take the leg out, and crunch. Kick it back. When we swing it to the back, we get that little adduction, inner thigh. Everybody's got the move nailed down now. We're coming back to all four, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. I'm gonna take this front knee, try to bring it just right behind my wrist, turn the foot out so we have external rotation, and then a big kick back there, like I'm hitting the basketball hoop, right? So, rotate down, kick it back. Like you're flicking the leg back behind you. And this is where I use that core, I go, yeah, right? Touching right behind my hand. Anybody cramping yet? Right, switching those legs. Anybody else get a cramp? Oh no, my oblique. You better turn that knee in more, guys, right? Bring that knee in. Here we go, other side. Crank it in. Heel goes out and then kick it back behind you. So now we're gonna kick towards you. Get that heel out to the side. on your side, elbow or all the way down, legs in front, almost a 90 degree angle. We're gonna lift the leg, keep the knee a little bit towards me, and then kick the leg. So it's a lift first, then kick. Lift, kick, drop down. So it's almost like two movements. The tendency is to turn to that leg and do a big kick up. So keep that knee a little bit forward. We get more hip, more core. And again, you can always come down. Feels good. All right, we're swinging around to the other side. Now, the workout is broken up into blocks, so if you want to do a repeat, you can always go into the description box and go back to block number one. Lift, kick. Because there's days when we have a little more time, and then there's days when you just need a short workout. When you're 
on your side, relax your shoulders. All right, relax here. So we're gonna sit down in child pose and get ready for some core here. Give it a good stretch, reach it out. Drop the head. We're still here, stay here. We're gonna get ready for some mountain climbers. Just be careful guys. I know we have a pad underneath here, so when we're doing the mountain climbers, just don't trip up your toes. I might come back a little bit here. So again, roll the wrist. We're gonna do mountain climbers. We're gonna go 40 seconds of effort. Again, 15 seconds transition. If you wanna come into your plank and hold, you can. And it definitely is gonna be harder having those ankle weights on. Knees come in. It could be a slow climber. Another option is just to hold the plank. You do one knee in, do some down dogging. Flip it. I'm actually gonna move, I think I'm gonna take my mat out. So we're gonna come on the back, legs are up. I'm gonna drop one leg as the knee comes in and then extend the legs back up. One knee in, both legs up, other knee in. You can stay lifted or come up as the knee comes in. Great, we're gonna get the front of the legs with the core. If your neck is sensitive during the section, hey, a towel is a great tool to have. Place it behind the neck. Extend the legs out wide. So my feet are wider than the mat. I'm gonna use my back leg. I'm crunching up towards it, and as it comes up, the knee turns out. So I have attitude position here and we're staying to that back leg. Tap it down, then lift it back up. If you need to, you can drop the back arm out into a T. Make sure the movement comes from the shoulder. So you're lifting up the chest. Switching the legs. That felt it, right? You felt it right on the outside. So same thing, we're gonna go to the left side. Remember, as you pick up the knee or the foot, take that knee, turn it outward. And when it comes down, let it tap for a moment and then come back up. Legs out in front, straighten them out. Again, hands behind the head, back knee in, and then a little lift. Doesn't have to come all the way up, so about a 45 degree kick, straight out that leg. Knee crunch, kick lift. If your back is feeling something going on here, then I would bend the front knee. If you feel too much in the neck, keep the head down and 
just really, oh, he could still work the core and the leg. a lot of rectus abdominis, so we had the side. Now we're right in the front here. <sighs> Hands behind the head. That's enough relaxing, right? <sighs> Knee in. Kick. And I'm crunching right up through center. I like what Carol's doing. She's doing even a rotation is great. As you kick the leg, push your back into the mat. Ooh, come on to your side. On the elbow. Legs a little bit forward here. The knee comes in, then I kick this leg back and lift the legs into scissor. Feet down, knee in, scissor lift. Crunch the knee in, and then lift the leg up. So that leg drops. This leg never drops, the top leg. So it comes in and kick. There's no wrong way, right? Let's have fun with this one. Boom. Try to keep this leg lifted, that's gonna make it harder. All right, swing it around. That was a fun one. Same position. Remember, we're gonna crunch that knee towards the chest, keep the leg lifted, keep that weight up, and then go into that scissor. Knee in, stand out. And then know your body, right? Maybe when you do this, you're not feeling something right. Get rid of the ankle weights. Now what I want you to think about, this leg here on the top. Right, that's gonna be the resting leg in the next movement. Great, come on to the stomach. So remember, that leg is not gonna move. The back leg for us is gonna move. I'm gonna have my arms out like a field goal. I'm gonna lift the leg up, down, and then take it out, in. So it's up down, out, in. And when you do the out, in, it's like it's just gonna skim the ground. That's why you need your hands, your hands out away from the body. And I'm tapping my toe kind of out, in. your core you feel that internal brace all right push back for a moment child pose this is the last one with the ankle weights here and then we're gonna take them off come down into plank or all the way to your stomach hands out other leg lifts lower tap out in So I'm kind of pressing into the hands to help me stabilize. How about you? Come on, long and straight leg. Sit 
minutes. We're gonna go into a 40 second 15 breakdown without the ankle waves. So go ahead and take them off real quick and then come back down and we're gonna come onto our side. Ankle weights are off. Hey, if you wanna keep them on, that is up to you. We're taking them off just so we can get a good range of motion here. So on your side, we're gonna be facing you guys. Come onto your side. I'm gonna take this knee in, and then I'm gonna kick it way back. So again, it's like that scissor one that we did, but this time I'm gonna lean a little bit forward and push the leg up and back. Knee in, press it back. And again, hey, move your body. So my chest is gonna drop a little bit as I kick that leg up. Maybe you get a little higher. Let's stay with the same leg. Come on all four, side knee lift, and then kick it out to us. So let's stay there, shoulders back, brace the core, neutral spine. So let's lift, then kick. And try to keep your eye gaze down versus looking at your leg. And I want a nice kick, come on, flick it. I long for that feeling. Why did it have to go away? I long for that feeling. Remember everything you say. Okay, let's swing it around to the other side. Let's come into that knee. And then we're gonna kick it way back. So remember, you can lean a little forward as you kick that leg back. You can point, you can flex, whatever you wanna do. Knee in, kick back. Just let your body flow. Like, where does it want to go? As long as it doesn't want to lay down on the mat yet. We'll get there. All right, turn it onto all four. We're gonna go into that bent knee lift and then kick it to you. Brace your core, shoulders down, lift and then kick. So the thought that I'm having is slow with the bent knee and then kind of quick with the kick. Right, swing it around. We're gonna take that leg. We're trying to keep the knee, the leg up. So I'm gonna bring knee to elbow, straight leg, swing it, and then back to the elbow. If you wanna drop on that elbow when you swing, you totally go for it. So knee in, and swing. Knee in, I'm coming to my elbow. As I swing, then I come back to my hand. Keep that leg lifted. I don't know if I could have done this with the ankle weight. How about you? It's so far away from the body, it might hurt you. Ooh, I even 
felt it in the other leg. All right, <laughs> we're just swinging around. This is the last movement. You did great. Hands on the shoulders, lift that knee up. Remember, it's gonna come to the elbow. Straight leg, swing forward. Make a nice little crunch. And then all hips. Woo! I met you at the wrong time. Then you caught me on that one night. Girl, I wanna know how this thing get out of my control. All right, nice work here. We're gonna take it onto the back. Let's stretch it out. So look at the sky, come onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest. Take the right leg, cross it over for figure four. We did a lot of glutes here, and thighs and hips. This is a great add-on workout, so if you have another short workout that you want to do, maybe you do quick arms, and then you can throw this on top. Switch the legs. Switch legs, give me hamstring. Bend the knee, bring it across the body. Back to center. Still the other leg, hamstring. Bend the knee across the body. Back to center, hug and rock up. We're gonna take one leg, let's do the front leg, pull it in to your thigh, and then a little side stretch here. So stretch over. And then lift, lengthen up, and reach up, and then go forward over the leg. And then I'm gonna take the body up. I'm gonna swing over to the other side, foot in, do side stretch. Lengthen up to the sky, reach up, and then hinge over the leg. Back to center, we can sit crisscross. Ooh. And then just walk those hands out, dropping the chest or grab the feet, whatever feels good. Roll it up. Let's have a big inhale here. So reach the arms out, reach them up. Pull them down into prayer. And we're gonna do one more time having that gratitude. Pull it into that heart. Thankful to you, grateful for you taking time out of your day, touch your skin. Oh my gosh, awesome job you guys. I hope you feel amazing in those hips, right? Yeah, and if you don't have ankle weights, hey, they are super inexpensive. I'll link a pair from Amazon that I would suggest, but hey, if you wanna spend five bucks, just go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, right? They have them there, a great tool to have. I've got plenty of workouts. I'll share another workout here that's got ankle weights in it. But you guys, we'll see you back on the mat. Give it a thumbs up, comment below, you know the deal, and we will see you again soon. Take care.
Bye.